So we are birthing a, a full-on full moon in the next 24 hours. It's really strong. In Aries, it's all about new beginnings and breaking through to the other side. Uh, Bella and I are having some breakthroughs. You know, she pretty much comes in and eats when she knows I'm in the bath. And yesterday actually slept all day in her tube out on the uh, veranda, which is unusual uh, for having a stranger around. Um, she's still hissing at me and all that kind of thing. And um, uh, Tanya is running a system on her at the moment. And Wednesday morning, we're catching up to vlog all about Bella. And she just feels it's this thing about her not being able to receive love from anyone, you know, and it's got a lot to do with what happened to her before the girls rescued her. Um, oh, I've really let go of my whole city chick thing. Um, I'm just sleeping with the back door wide open. So if you recognize the house and you're an axe murderer and you're up for a thrill kill on a full moon, I won't put up much of a fight. Um... What I love about the country life the most is like leaving the keys in the ignition when you get out of the car to go to the shops. I know it's illegal, but um, yeah, I love, I, I, you know, this is a little seaside town and, you know, you just feel it in the shopping centres and everywhere you go. And it's just sort of like Yandina where I used to live. And it's a little bit, it's even a little bit more relaxed than slow bart. I, um, I have no feeling for big cities anymore. It's just, just not my truth, you know. Um, I watched the, the most extraordinary documentary on the SBS today um, about Judaism. And uh, I'm obviously just so ignorant in so many ways. I mean, I had no idea that they kind of owned Cairo and then Afghanistan and then Spain and like the whole Spanish Inquisition and then Venice and... And what has happened to these people? Like, it just blew my mind. I mean, I knew it was more than the um, the war. And, you know, I know it's been more than uh, back in the um, Jesus days. But, wow. I, I now fully have empathy for why they're being such, you know, C words. Uh, re-Jerusalem and um, the Gaza and why they don't want to share the postage stamp. Like it's, it, it, from from what you can understand of what's happened to these people, you can understand why they're going, no, this isn't mine. Microwaves aren't mine. Um, or unless, unless I'm whacking one of the, these out in the morning. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are you still there? This looks like a this looks like a toilet seat warmer. Mmm. Um anyway. <sighs> That's about it. Um I had the most amazing experience with Fifi Lakura Saturday night. We are firm friends. Our sisterhood is just amazing. For two women that haven't seen each other for 20 years, I think we've had two phone calls and Facebook action. Um, wow. Just on. And um, we're spending tomorrow afternoon together. And I'm going to go for a steam in the morning, and I think I'm finally really... It's taken what seems like eight years to get over... Two cigarettes, two coffees, two joints, and two vodkas. <laughs> Fuck, really? Yesterday, oh, when I got home from dinner with Fifi the other night, I had my very first dinner out since the whole Vedic journey. And we went to Thai, and I had, you know, a tofu curry, and um, I shared fish cakes with her. We had two glasses of champagne before we went out, like small little glasses. And I was in bed by 10.30. And the next morning, I was so wrecked. I was walking into walls, and I was too tired to act, too tired to go for a massage and a steam. Too tired. So Gary sound files. I just randomly kept choosing them, like pericardium, heart. Did lots of stuff with my liver, my kidneys, and this is this you know fifteen dollar app that you've got forever. You're playing it through Dropbox. I took myself to bed after a bath at 10 o'clock in the morning and woke up at 3 p.m. A different person. And it was like all my meridians and everything was aligned from um, doing the Gary thing. So that was really cool. So 
I've got a huge, oh, fuck, I'll show you my chicken broth. Like, I just think I can't stand about the chicken broth thing is like what you've got to do. Like, like you've just got to deal with all that. I mean, that's full of feet and necks and, oh, what will the vegans say? Um, yeah, so I'm kind of creating some new soups and I'm going to do a big cook and freeze. Um, but I'm back on the Avedic medical track, don't you know? Um, I'm going to see if Fifi Lakura will um, do a bit of a vloggy-woggy tomorrow. And um, yeah, over and out.